Good evening everyone, my name is Annie and I am a pediatric physician assistant in the area and I am so glad that you are allowing me to talk at your parent-teacher conference tonight regarding your middle and high school children. I wanted to talk about tonight how screens can negatively impact your children's sleeping habits because I know that technology has been incorporated into our world very deeply and understand that they're very addicting as well. So the population I am aiming for is adolescents because that is what I do and according to the World Health Organization that is children between the ages of 10 and 19 years old. The intervention I'm doing is high amounts versus low amounts of screen time and how that can affect the habitual sleep patterns of children. So being a parent, I know how difficult it is to decide how much time is too much when it comes to how long they are in front of their electronic screens, whether that is tablets, laptops, phones, computers, televisions, video games, I know are very popular, um, and how this can negatively impact your or their sleeping patterns. Sleep is also very important just in general in our overall health because there has been a lot of evidence showing that not getting enough sleep can lead to the development of obesity or being overweight. It can also increase other risk health factors such as smoking, alcohol slash marijuana use, violence, and even the development of some mental disorders such as depression. So, there was a scientific study that I found that was a review article, which just is a way of saying that they collected a bunch of articles and then the researchers analyzed the results of these articles. So this specific review showed that there was indeed a negative relationship between using a screen and their sleep health. So the kids were going to bed later on and had a decreased sleep duration. Most of the studies involved children that were between the ages of 5 to 17 years old, so uh, the ages of your kids, and they found that in more than 90% of the 60 studies that they were looking at, the longer the kids spent on screen time, the later their bedtimes became. So the children did not sleep as long as they should have because of their screens. They also noticed that in more than 75% of the studies that they looked at, there were a lot of connections between watching television and insufficient sleep. So they found this evidence worldwide um, across various countries such as Thailand, the Netherlands, Canada, Saudi Arabia, and Norway. So it's not just in the US, it's very global. And then another study they found with um, 2,000 fourth and seventh graders um, they said that sleeping near a small screen was connected with increased tiredness and that the light from the screens also had a really bad effect on the children. So the screens would make the children less tired so they would not be as sleepy when they were getting ready for bed. And so they found that after they finished reading or whatever they were doing on their screens that this would increase the amount of time it took for them to fully fall asleep and so it decreased the time they were in REM sleep also known as rapid eye movement and REM sleep is very important because this is the time where your memories kind of stick in your brain and things you have learned also get stored in your brain so the light from these electronic devices um, whatever they may be, suppress the production of a hormone in your brain called melatonin, which I'm sure many of you know is a hormone that um, is associated with your sleep-wake cycle. So when that's messed up, it kind of um, makes it more difficult for people to fall asleep. So pubescent children, they found um, their melatonin was more suppressed in various different light intensities so there was like light medium um, high versus those that were post pubescent adolescents and so all this evidence shows that the light from screens does have a negative toll on ch their children's sleep duration but with all this research that's really good there also does come limitations specifically these studies are mainly observational so yeah, the data can sometimes be a little bit skewed and with that being said most of the numbers that we that researchers do get is um, self-reported so children keep track of how much time they spend on screens 
so they may under report or over report um, but most of the time we believe it is accurate and so those are some limitations and I just want to thank you all for your time tonight because I just want to educate those and make sure that you realize that screens do benefit us in a variety of ways and help us you know in education and become more efficient in life but increased usage does have some consequences and there has been a lot of uh, evidence, like I said, that has shown the negative correlation between screen time and how it affects sleeping patterns. So I'm going to pass out a brochure about everything I just talked about. And it looks like this. It says, um, is your child not sleeping enough? Well, here is possibly why. And then it just highlights all of the main points that I just made. So thank you guys for your time and I hope everyone has a great night. Thank you.